Grade 6 Math, number 4.6, Estimate Quotients for Fractions. Why would we want to do that? Why would we want to bother estimating? Because it can make our life easier when we're at the store or in daily life. When we estimate fraction quotients, we should use compatible numbers. Those are the numbers that are easy to use when doing mental math. To estimate the quotient for 12 and an eighth divided by 2 and 5 6, we can round the mixed numbers to their nearest whole number. 12 and 1 eighth can round to 12, and 2 and 5 6 can round to 3. Then we can just do 12 divided by 3 equals 4. If we have 5 and 7 eighths and we want to divide it by 1 and 3 fourths, the 5 7 eighths can round to 6, the 1 and 3 fourths can round to 2, and then we just have 6 divided by 2 is 3. A lot easier and quicker mentally. We can estimate using compatible numbers that are easy to compute mentally. 2 and 9 tenths divided by 1 and 5 eighths. The 2 and 9 tenths can rewrite to 3. The 1 and 5 eighths can go to 1 and a half. Now why would I do that and not go to 2? 3 divided by 1 and a half is 2. It comes out as an even number. 1 and a half and 1 and a half make 2. 3 divided by 2 would be harder to solve. So we actually used a compatible number for 3, which was 1 and a half, because 2 of them make 3. See? If we had rounded, we would have gone up to 2, and we would have had 3 divided by 2. So compatible numbers may not be numbers we would usually round to. They're numbers that work well together and are close to the actual number. If we round up, the actual quotient will be smaller than the estimate. If we round down, the actual quotient will be larger than the estimate. What am I talking about? Well, we know that 34 div 36 divided by 4 is 9. That's part of the 4 times table. If we round this up to 40, 40 divided by 4, it would be 10. Where the actual quotient is 9, see, by rounding up, the actual answer is smaller because we made this bigger. See? We divided it into bigger pieces. If we have 44 divided by 4, we know that that's 11 from our 4 times table. But if we round down and make this a 40, by rounding down, the actual quotient is going to be larger. Because it should have been 44, but we made it a 40, so we made it 10 instead of the 11. See? If you round down, the real answer is larger. If you round up, the real answer is smaller. It's like they crisscross. Up makes smaller, down makes bigger. See? Sometimes when we do the estimations, we can end up with whole numbers that are real easy, like 11 twelfths divided by 7 eighths can be rounded to a 1 and a 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. See that? So here's the difference between compatible and rounding in a nutshell. This is closer to the real answers, and this is farther from the real answers. If we have 718 divided by 9, well, we know that 72 divided by 9 is 8 because it's part of the 8 and 9 times table. So we can just add a 0 onto that 72 and make it 720. So the 718 becomes a 720, and we keep the 9. And then our estimated answer is 80 because they're all part of like a fact family. See? If we had rounded, we would have changed the 718 to 700. The 9 could have been changed to a 10, and we would have ended up with 70. Not as accurate as doing the compatible numbers, see? The actual number for 718 divided by 9 is 79 point, and then there's 9 sevens and an 8. That could have been rounded to 0.78, but I wanted to show the real answer. So do you see the difference between compatible numbers and rounding? The rounding is not as accurate as compatible numbers. And compatible numbers are easier to work with, see? So we're going to keep talking about dividing fractions, and I hope this kind of opened up your mind to the difference in estimating, and I'll see you next video, okay? Bye.